If you're running helium hotspot mining as a business, it can be difficult trying to get into someone's house. Most people generally don't want you in their house. They don't want you coming back to their house to have to fix problems. They don't want you drilling holes in the walls. They don't want you drilling holes in the roof. So trying to optimize your mining system in someone else's house is most likely not going to happen. Not more than my recommendation of just getting it into their attic. That being said, I mean, you might want to look at other alternatives out there, such as building an off-grid system inside an enclosure. That basically means having a way to have that hotspot both get power and internet and then being able to take the entire system and, well, place it anywhere you want it. Maybe that means on someone's roof. Maybe that means in a tree. Maybe that means somewhere on a farm. You have many options this way. So I have looked into this. Um, specifically, I've looked at IoT Off-Grid. I think IoT Off-Grid has some great options in terms of outdoor enclosures that utilize solar panels. I think solar is definitely an excellent option, especially for me in Denver, where we have 300 days of sunshine a year. That being said, as you may notice, it's unavailable right now for sale. A little frustrating, but I'm sure it will be back. That being said, also, other people have suggested to me, maybe you should build it yourself. Quite frankly, I don't want to build something myself. I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I don't care how much cheaper it may be. It's not effective in terms of just trying to put something together and make some money. I would rather build something that's already been proven to work. If I have problems, be able to call technical support about it. So this looks like a great option to me. Until it's ready to go though, I need to look at one aspect which it doesn't cover, which is internet. How do I get internet to my helium hotspot? Visible has been my answer. Visible is a low cost option that's out there, which is actually a subsidiary of Verizon. So it is using Verizon in order to connect. And if you know that you are in an area where Verizon uh, works very well, then you shouldn't have any problem with them. Now there's a few caveats with this. First of all, it says $40 on the website. If you get for people to work with you, that goes down to $25 each. So instead of having to pay for unlimited internet, $40, you can bring it down to $25 if you have some other people willing to what they call join your party. So at $25, unlimited data seems really great and there are no hidden fees in that process. It's a flat $25 but there are a few caveats in relation to specifically a hotspot, meaning that rather than using internet through your phone, you are actually using a hotspot device. When it comes to hotspots, while there is no data limits, there is a limit in terms of bandwidth, and that is five megabits per second. Beyond that, there is also a limit of one device connected. However, that actually doesn't matter. When you put a visible SIM card in, let's say, a Verizon Jetpack, you can connect as many devices to that uh, Jetpack as you want. However, again, you're limited to that five megabits per second bandwidth. That could be a problem for those, but I mean, we're probably not gonna connect any other devices except our Helium Hotspot Miner. So I personally do not worry about that. I'm actually just fine with it at $25, right? Well, the other issue we're gonna deal with is what hotspots are gonna work with Visible. Now, let me be clear. Um, Visible is designed not to work with hotspots, to work with phones. So that means that you are going to have to make sure that you have a phone that that Visible SIM card can go into, uh, can connect with the app, and can be set up to be used. Once it is set up to be used with the phone, you can then take it out and put it in a Verizon Jetpack MiFi 8800L. I have found that this is actually a very good option. It worked great for me. I had to make a few changes in the settings 
on the Jetpack, but I didn't pay the $199.99. I actually just bought this off of eBay for about 80 bucks. Didn't come with all the parts, but that was okay with me. It was great for doing this test. Now, unfortunately, because of the price we're talking about from Visible, it's relayed. Yes, it is relayed. I tried changing the port forwarding, and I also needed to do some other changes in order to get this to work with Visible. But yes, it is relayed. So if you're not happy with that, then maybe this isn't a great option for you. However, you can change the settings in this Jetpack in order to do port forwarding. So if you were to not use this SIM card option, you used it as a test or you tried it for a while and decided you wanted to upgrade, you could go get a corporate Verizon SIM card that has a static IP address that would allow port forwarding. And I'm gonna show you how to set all this up, including the port forwarding part, so that if you choose to do that later, you can. Okay, so we have our Verizon hotspot and we have our visible SIM card and we're going to need to put this in so we can just open the back of the hotspot and remove the battery. Once we do, we'll see an open space available for the SIM card and we're just going to go ahead and slide the SIM card in. Now once we've done that, we can just put the battery back in place and close the lid. So now let's turn on the hotspot. And once it's loaded up, we're going to go and look at what the username and password is to access the hotspot. We'll be using this in order to connect it to our helium miner. So click the button on the side of the miner so you can start up the Bluetooth connection. And then on your phone, you can open up your helium app and then select any of your miners and use the Bluetooth pairing option in order to connect to one of them so that you can update the Wi-Fi settings. Once you're in, just go to the Wi-Fi network, select the Verizon MiFi 8800L, Forget the current network you're on, and then enter in your password and connect. Now the Verizon hotspot won't actually work with the visible SIM card until you change the APN, so you'll need to do a few more things. Now to change the APN, you need to log into the web admin interface, and that means going into your computer first, connecting that to your Verizon hotspot, and then once you've done that, you need to go to the address 192.168.1.1. Once you're in the web admin interface, you'll need to log in with the same password as you were using before. Once you've done that, you'll then scroll down under Jetpack Settings and click on the arrow. The arrow will take you to Jetpack Preferences, and from here you'll go and click on Advanced. From Advanced, hit Continue, and then from here you'll change the APN settings. These settings need to say, VSBL internet, just like I have on my screen. Once you've done that, save your changes. Now we can look into setting up port forwarding. However, like I said before, port forwarding is not going to work with a visible SIM card. It may work with a corporate account with Verizon, so I'm just going to walk you through the process now so you'll know how to do it in the future. The first thing you're going to need is to go to Connected Devices and find out the IP address for the Helium hotspot. You also may want to change the Wi-Fi connection limit to 2 in order to make sure nobody else connects to your Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, go back to Jetpack Settings. That'll take you to Advanced. Click on Continue, just like before. And then here, we're going to go to Port Forwarding. Now, if it's not turned on, turn it on. And then at the bottom, Add custom application. We'll make these name changes where we'll name the app Helium, add the IP address, change the port from and to to 44158, make sure you save these changes, and you're done. Again, this is not going to work for Visible, but if you do have a corporate Verizon account, it may be helpful in the future. Hey, uh, I hope that was helpful. 
Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe if this kind of content is useful for you. I'm really hoping that I can get some off-grid setups, especially here, we're in the mountains. It'll have a very wide view of downtown areas and hopefully make a lot of H&T because that is the objective. So again, please like and subscribe. And also I've added a Facebook group to uh, the main page here for this YouTube channel. If you're interested in having a conversation with other people who are subscribing here, I definitely recommend joining the group and that way I can talk to all of you and you can all talk to each other. It's a lot better than you guys emailing me. Please stop emailing me. All right, take care, have a great day.